Bhajan was an area of focus for us. In the early part of this year, we had a number of operations where we had eliminated terrorists in Bhajan. Subsequently, the terrorists had revived. They had resorted to some atrocities. They had killed Rashid Billah in February. Subsequently, Muznata. And then, of course, in September, Ramzan Pare. He was killed by the terrorists in the area of Bhajan. So what we had done was as a strategy. We had launched several operations in Ajin, which September onwards, we were practically launching search operations on a daily basis. We had inducted special forces into the area, and in addition, along with the intelligence network, along with the police as we work, and the CRP as the law and order in Ajin was brought under control. Good information started flowing in. This area of Chandagir, we were keeping under watch for the last three, three days. And yesterday, based upon a specific information, the operations were launched jointly with the JK Police, the RPS and the Army. And that six terrorists were eliminated. These six terrorists were all foreign terrorists, led by Mahmoud Bhai, and comprised of bulk of the Azam group. So in effect, I would like to highlight that the Hajan group has largely been decimated. And interestingly, one of the persons who was killed is Osama Jangi or Obed. He is reportedly the nephew of Zakir Rahman Lakhvi and possibly the son of Abdul Rahman Makki, the Lashkar number two. I would like to place on record and compliment to all the Agencies who have worked to ensure their success, the JK Police, the CRPF and the excellent troops under my command of 13 RR, Victor Force and Chief Sector RR who have contributed to their success. We look forward to continuing the operation and we hope to restore peace in the valley as soon as possible. Ajin has mentioned by everyone uh, is a tough area. In February, on the 14th of February, the same group had targeted our commandant, Chetan Chita, and he was very seriously injured. Uh, in June, they had facilitated the Fidayin attack on our camp, in which four uh, Fidayin were uh, eliminated. Uh, to the numbers which uh, the core commander pointed out, I would like to add a very significant number, the number which we will not take, uh, we will not mention, but a large number of boys who are about to join the militants have been wheeled away and uh, uh, they have been counseled or, or other uh, uh, ways have been adopted to stop them from uh, joining the ranks. That number is very significant and I think that is uh, a very, very important uh, development this year. Kashmir Valley needs to be free from violence, terror, gun and drugs. And my compliments to officers and jawans of all the forces and intelligence agencies who have done a commendable job. Army, CRPF, GNK police and intelligence agencies. It's a huge uh, effort by the jawans and officers in the field who have the broad turnaround in situation and uh, I wish very soon we can see Kashmir Valley free of violence. That is our endeavor and uh, with this uh, I would just like to add that Hajin was witness to a lot of terror in North Kashmir for last few months and year or so and uh, fortunately yesterday's operation has uh, cleaned up the area and I'm sure people will have a sigh of relief and they would live a life without fear of terror. And I would request other mothers also to appeal their children and uh, because we all here uh, don't want uh, anybody to be get, even get hurt what to talk of 
getting killed. So I request other mothers also to appeal their children to leave the path of violence. This news is brought to you by Hotel CS2, where quality rules. Contact Hotel CS2, Salwar Bagh, Srinagar, Kashmir, phone number 01942468500, 2468501. Reservation at Hotel CS2. Log on www.hotelcs2.com.